I'm Kathy Jourdain. I live in Bedford, Nova Scotia. I have a small independent consulting company called Shape Shift Strategies and I work in collaborative partnership with colleagues all over the world and in the evolution of worldview intelligence I've been working with Jerry Nagel from the Meadowlark Institute in Minnesota in the US. And one of the things about worldview is that 80% of it operates unconsciously, so we don't even know the lens that we're putting around the world that we see. My first exposure to the concept of worldview was when Jerry Nagel and I first began to work together. And we were working together doing the Art of Hosting Conversations That Matter, which is a training that invites people into a different kind of space for conversation. As we began to work together more frequently, we would always bring the worldview teach into the trainings that we were doing because people were interested in that conversation. What we were noticing in the art of hosting trainings that we were doing is that once we introduced the concept of worldview, people engaged in conversations differently. And I think I first noticed it around conversations of race, power, and privilege where people were in that conversation from a totally different space than they typically would be. The initial invitation around worldview is to be exploring your own worldview first and your own perspective first. And since people were in that individual reflection and curiosity, it then made them curious about somebody else's worldview. We say that curiosity and judgment cannot exist in the same space. So when you find yourself becoming judgmental, or um, defensive, that's a really good time to ask yourself why you're responding that way. At the moment, I think of it in two ways. We do worldview programming and we do worldview consulting. And so in the, the programming, we're offering a sometimes open enrollment programs that um, has a, a good structure and flow to it based on the Apostle framework and some of the reflection that we're doing. And that helps us think about what a general offering looks like about worldview and um, and then when we do worldview consulting with specific clients we're tailoring the frameworks to the needs of the client and inviting them into conversations about their issues through that framework and it accelerates our thinking about how to use the frameworks in ways that are impactful for the client work that we're doing. We've had the opportunity to bring worldview intelligence programming to Canada, to the United States, to France, and to Belgium. The receptivity has been really good, no matter where we've gone, and I think that the impact has everything to do with what's the nature of the exploration that they want to be in. 